So close, the most experienced Manhattan player, Adam Johnson. Also very, very talented. Johnson, Loyola, Scott Akatubi, and Randy Stoklos. One game to 15 for the championship. Remember, Randy Stoklos and Adam Johnson played together last year here and won impressively. So one of those players is going to defend his title, but only one. Johnson in red, serving first. Stoklos puts it away. Randy Stoklos, all blue. And he's been revving up the crowd the entire weekend. There's Adam Johnson, blonde hair, red tank top, the reigning king of the beach. His partner, of course, Jose Loyola in the yellow headband. Here's Scott Akatubi. And Akatubi is into the net. Scott Akatubi served very well in the preceding match, really set it up. Well, the key to what happens here, I think, for the championship is who gets off serving in the beginning of this match. Johnson and Loyola, huge advantage in that area when these two teams met in the finals of the winners. Randy Stoklos with the blast. Stoklos has been getting the majority of serves. Scott Akatubi cast in the setting position. Stoklos 25 kills in the finals of the winners and then on down from there. See if he gets a little bit tired. Loyola, chance for a point. Stoklos. Yes. Randy Stoklos won here in 1981, 86, 89, and last year with Adam Johnson, a four-time winner. All-time record holder, of course, is Parks Karai with six. One to nothing. Stoklos Akatubi. Top goes Loyola, side out. So Adam Johnson will retreat to surf, 6'3", 190 pounds, lives in Laguna Beach, California, went to USC, played on the national team briefly until he was offered $100,000 to go play in Europe, which he did. Stoklos had problems bump setting the ball yesterday. And you see Akatubi saying, hey, that's my fault. I think it's Stoklos' 50% well. fault, certainly. He's got to set that ball much closer to the net. Stoklos, always one of the best setters with his hands. Not a great bump setter. Has to be more aggressive at the beginning of this match. Set his partner much closer. Stoklos with blasting through. If Johnson and Loyola have a weakness, it is blocking. Well, they're a smallish team. Jose Loyola, a great jumper, but he's only about 6'4", and not really long arms. Stokey able to find lots of court away from his body, and A.J. Smaller, when he blocks it, only 6'2 and a half, 6'3". Scott Akatebi. And a 1-1 one -one tie. Johnson with the rip. Adam Johnson with 17 career wins on tour. Five with Steffes, five with Stoklos. The two main men that avoid his win total. And here's Loyola, 1-1. One, one. Uh, angle! If there are two players in this particular match that would be nervous, Scott Akatubi and Jose Loyola, neither has won a Manhattan Open title. And as we discussed yesterday, you're not even going to be in consideration for one of the greats of all time in the sport unless you win here. And they're thinking about that. A lot of pressure, this setting in the canyon. Jose Loyola, of course, the first foreigner ever to win, Randy Stoklos. As you mentioned, the most experienced player among this group. There's a good look at the canyon jam-packed center court. Manhattan, Johnson serving. Tied at one. Yeah. And Stoklos is rejected. Blocking not the strength of Loyola or Adam Johnson, but you can't hit the ball right into him. Loyola moved his arms into the line side, really got a little lucky there because his hands were off the net. Johnson serving it 2-1. Good serve on his former partner. But Stoklos gets a beautiful set from Adam. I'll tell you, that was the key because Stoklos was down and nearly out on the tough jump serve from Adam Johnson. Akatubi had to recock, readjust. The key is how high Akatubi sets the ball. He set that up to the penthouse to give Stoklos time to get back into good hitting position. Here is Scott Akatebi. Working on Johnson. And A.J. puts it away. Crowd definitely for Stuck by 
hometown boy Scott Akatubi and his new partner Randy Stoklos. Stoklos, of course, one of the most hated men in the history of Manhattan Beach, played for years with Sinjin Smith. Everybody in the South Bay part of Los Angeles hated Smith and Stoklos. Johnson went out to a 10-3 lead when these two teams met earlier today. In doing so, they registered four aces early. That set the tone. Good set. Akatubi loops it down the line. So Scott Akatubi, who grew up in Hermosa Beach, California, started playing volleyball when he was six years old. Didn't like school much. Practiced volleyball. Snuck off to the beach. Kind of a rebel, a loner. And a very quiet player, but he's very, very good. You see six wins this year with Karch before Karch went back to Kent. And down the line, Luffy on the line. And Stoklos doesn't like the call. Jim Leonard, the referee, right there. There's the loop down the line in front of linesman Greg Krause. I saw the rope jump. The ball was in. So close, just maybe thinking about Santa Cruz last week. Adam Johnson aces. And maybe thinking about it for a beat too long. AJ working on his former partner down the line for the ace. We'll take a timeout. AJ and Loyola come out smoking. the middle light Manhattan Beach open Johnson and Loyola leading by three let's go down to Bill Walton all right Chris I was talking to Randy Stokos before the match they had absolutely no luck at all serving Adam Johnson in the morning match they're attacking Loyola Loyola's received three of those serves but that strategy will be ineffective unless Stokos and Akatubi can learn how to pass these very difficult jump serves from AJ and Jose Loyola Chris well, of course, the key on the jump serve is positioning. Most of the players serve it hard. Most of the players receive well when the ball comes to them, Paul. But directionally, Johnson has been very good so far. So is Loyola. Stokos, Akatubi. Stokos, Akatubi do three things very well. They jump serve very well. They set very well. And they hit very well. They must block some balls. But most importantly, they have to pass serve. Can't allow any more aces. Got to get into a good side-out rhythm. Scott Akatubi with the serve. And he's into the net. So Scott Akatubi off to a slow start in terms of serving the ball. And Jose Loyola will have it. No foreign, no international player has ever won a tournament here at Manhattan. And Loyola will try to do that today. He's got a 4-1 lead. Here comes Stokos. And he jukes it right on the line. So Randy Stokos, the longtime partner with Sinjin Smith. He won 115 tournaments with Smith. Randy second on the all-time list to Smith in that department. And over! Loyola rejected it! Stuckles playing to the crowd once again, and why not getting up and over, turning Jose Loyola in outside hand, direct the ball back into the court. Stokos poised to serve Loyola again, and he does. his hands out of bounds. Not a bad idea to serve Loyola. If you're going to make it a contest endurance, if Loyola and Johnson are going to serve Stokos, and Stokos and Akatubi might just serve Loyola the whole game. Well, I like it because it almost matches Stokos Akatubi's weakness against Loyola's. Johnson is far and away the best passer out here. You serve him, you're just going to wait for him to side out because he passes the ball superbly. That's tight. Stokos, and he hits it off. Loyola out of bounds. 4-2 to two is our score. Johnson and Loyola have the lead, one game to 15. And now Scott Akatubi will serve it. He told me about a month ago that a float serve is a wussy serve. I serve the hard jumper all the way. No wussies ahoy. Not in this match. Akatubi very subdued, belies his image, of course, with the earrings and the uh, primitive print shorts, but the Akpak is whooping it up. One more, and Scott Akatubi can enter the race for the Manhattan Beach mayor. 
And a timeout called by Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola, 22nd. Sand variety, the Miller Lite Cup but coming down to the final few weeks on the Miller Lite AVP Tour. $1 million given away by Miller Lite for excellence throughout the season. Karch Karai and Kent Steffes finished a fourth this week. Karai still holding on to a 17-point lead, followed by Don Whitmarsh. But look at the battle, fourth, fifth, and sixth between Johnson, Loyola, Akatubi. That's going to be decided maybe in this championship or, of course, at Hermosa in a big tournament, the Cuervo at Boulder next week. A 4-1 A.J. Loyola lead has evaporated. Akatubi bringing his team back along with the stuff from Stokos. 4-4, Sunderland, Marlowe, and Walton at Manhattan. <laughs> Johnson, and Johnson whacking it down the line. Adam Johnson, since he started training less and taking more salt tabs, has not had any problems with heat, dehydration, and cramping. Well, he had to withdraw from two tournaments this summer. Couldn't make it through till the end because of heat exhaustion. Serving so close, 4-4. Stokey droops it down the line. But since Adam Johnson has sort of gotten the Mike Dodd route, Seven-month-long season, you take more time off towards the end of the year, you rest more, you take your salt pills, and he's been the best hitter on the beach the last three weeks, in my opinion. Here's Loyola, and Loyola deep into the court. So far, Jose Loyola has been a little bit tentative. A lot of pressure on Loyola, a lot of Brazilian media, a lot of fans now expecting him to win. Johnson to serve, 4-4. Four, four. for A.J. How much longer before Stokos protects the line? A.J.'s beaten him the outside corner of the plate three times, either for clear aces or service winners. Stokey better take a step over and protect that, and Axe got to move with him and not leave the middle wide open. Working on Stokos again. Great set by Akintubi. Close, puts it away. 5-4. Johnson and Loyola lead it. Stoklos with 10 kills. He's getting a lot of serves. 10 serves already to Stoklos with 10 kills. Stoklos at the net. Here comes Scott Akatebi already with a couple of aces. Foils one wall. So Jose Loyola has the ball. Up by one. Loyola, 25 years old, one of the bright young stars on the ABC no! Tour. Any aces? The Loyola's family feeling good. His mother, Aloya, the uncle is here, the cousin, the cousin's wife, and they are hoping, and right now, looking good, Loyola out by two. To make it six to four, we told you Loyola's family is here. Watch Uncle Luis. Like a cannon shot him out of him. <laughs> yes, he loves the jump serve. Let's go down to Bill Walton. Bill? Yes, Chris. Jose Loyola, before the match today, was just telling me that he considers this his home court. He is confused that the fans are not cheering for him. But with the great service winner there, they're starting to take control. And the pressure does not seem to be affecting Loyola one bit, something that Randy Stokeless thought would. 7-4 to four is our score. Johnson and Loyola have the lead in a game to 15. No light open at Manhattan. Stokos and Akatebi struggling here. Johnson got it! Johnson blocking his own partner. Yeah, talk about being on a roll. On fire, Loyola and Johnson serving with five aces, only one error. And here, AJ, clearly the smallest player out here blocking-wise, stuffing his former partner. Loyola serving, head by four. And another ace. So Jose saying, yep, he's going straight from here to Vegas. With his hot hand, he better cash it in. Loyola, nine for eight more. They're the best serving team on the beach, statistically, no doubt about that. Both Loyola and Adam Johnson among the leaders in the power aid ace standing. Let's take a look at those standings. If I recall, Brian Lewis, the top man on the Powerade Serving Challenge. $80,000 given away by Powerade. The number one man, that's the eighth sign. The number one man receives 20 grand at the end of the year for serving a few volleyballs. Not bad. Lewis followed by James Fellow. Johnson is third. Welch, Loyola, and Fenoy Moana. 
see Loyola's numbers and Johnson's numbers there. The service story, six aces over only one error. They average over four aces a game across the board in terms of competition. That serve out of bounds. If you just joined us, Johnson and Loyola got off to a great start, led four to one. Akatubi and Stoklos got a block and two aces, tied at four. But since that time, AJ and Loyola have run off five straight and now lead it nine four. Here's Randy Stoklos, one of the great players of all time at 34. Did not execute perfectly, but Stokos experience coming through putting the ball to the sand. Stokos doing all of the blocking for his team. Happened to be the better defensive Damn, player in a sand timeout Loyola. taken by Johnson and Loyola. Okay, we'll take a short break. We're coming right back. 526 to go at Manhattan. It's 9-5. AJ Jose. Leading here at Manhattan, 9-5. to five. Dodd Whitmarsh finished third. Karch Karai Kent Steffes, fourth. Rob Hyder, Eric Fanoi Moana. Bill Bouillon, Brian Lewis finished fifth. Canyon Seaman, Tim Hovland, Brian Gasky, Jeff Rogers in seventh. Stokos with the serve, trailing by four. And nobody! Loyola, ooh, and he tattoos it. And that ball was hit from distance. Optimum position, one to two, two and a half, three feet off the net. That was eight feet out of the deep sand here at Manhattan, and Loyola crushed it right at Stokos. Loyola says he loves playing with Adam Johnson. He likes the fact that they alternate, so it gives Loyola a chance to develop the entire game. His defense is not only up there blocking all the time, which he did with his fellow countryman, Brazilian Anginho, who he split from in order to play with Adam Johnson. He was blocking all the time, Anginho playing defense. Five, serving nine, academic. Down the line. Could result in a point. Free ball coming up. Stokey looking to munch one. And he does. We are coming back to Manhattan. 9-6. Johnson and Loyola lead it. He's probably throwing up right now. <laughs> He's got a potential client. <laughs> Marvin doing his thing, exciting the fans. Here at the Middle Light Open at Manhattan Beach. Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton with you. Interesting championship final. Scott Hackettab, Randy Stokos, the underdogs, creeping to within three. They trail 9-6 to Adam Johnson and Jose Loyola. Hackettab working on Loyola. Hackettab got it up, but it's going wide. So Hackettab, pretty good dig there. And the side out to Johnson and Loyola. So far, the strategy is playing out. They're serving Loyola more balls. Served him 10 times to only three for Adam Johnson. But Loyola's coming through. They're up three on the scoreboard, 9-6. Down the line, wide. And so Stokelos trying to get his team revved up. Talking to Akatubi. Best thing for Stokelos to do is stuff a couple of balls. He used to be, before Whitmarsh and others, the most intimidating blocker on the beach. He's only got one stuff. Serve the ball, he misses this one. But Stokelos got to think about himself as an overpowering blocker right now. Could be fatiguing a little. Remember Stokelos and Akatubi playing more matches today than Johnson and Loyola. Bill? Thanks, Chris. Scott Akatebi, who's had a lot of trouble hand-setting the ball. He's playing with that very sore finger that hurts his concentration on his hand-setting. The biggest problem, though, that Stokey told me during the side change was they've got to start passing the ball on these incredible serves from Johnson and Loyola. Good hand-set there as Akatebi uh, grinding it out. 
Scott Ackers have he considered the best pure setter in beach volleyball. That card said he's the best setter I ever played with. Well, the ball just, some setters have the sweetest, softest touch. The ball just seems to rise into the perfect hitting position and stay there Thank for you. a feet longer. I said the good setters, Marlo. Yours went through it in a nanosecond. I got years of experience of those babies. Hey, got your gold medal, didn't it? <laughs> Jose Loyola well, serving. Thank you. I've been meaning to say thank you for 10 years. Leading 10-6. Clean to 15. Back at W. And Loyola dig is out of bounds. Jose Loyola, a, an improving defensive player, getting some chances now. You don't jump the way he does without having a lot of fast twitch. And he's very, very quick covering the court. We just didn't see his defensive skills before because he was always blocking. Still close serving, trailing by four. Still close, still looking for another stuff block. And over. <laughs> and off the hands goes Loyola. It's been a pretty quick game so far, Paul, in terms of so many scores. Yeah, this is just one home run after another. Johnson and Loyola again have six aces. Loyola right there has four of those. the middle nobody gets that one right on the back line but remember he got three aces off Stoklos down the sideline spread the defense and then go back up the middle 11 to 6 our score Johnson and Loyola firmly in command we'll take a timeout we're coming back this is the AVP on NBC the first Manhattan Open John F Kennedy American Football League Cassius Clay Arnold Palmer that was a uh, great year for sports Chris Marlowe, Paul Sunderland, Bill Walton. The championship final of the Miller Lite Manhattan Beach Open. 11 to 6, Johnson and Loyola turning it on, doing it with a little blocking, a little defense, and a lot of serving. Down the line, cuts, Johnson wiggles over, gets it. Save a point. Akatabi. Still time. Stoklos has got to get on a bit of a blocking roll. And Akatubi seen here hitting, not really unloading, looking to move the ball around a little bit. 6-11. And over. And the little pitch shot over the shoulder of Stoklos. And that's a good shot by Loyola. That set was not good. Well off the net. Makes life much, much harder for an attacker. Loyola gingerly by the block of Randy Stokely. Four aces for Loyola and 11 to 6 lead. Great set. And Stokely hits it right to Jose. playing some defense, but Stoklos hit this ball right to him. Again, this is only the fourth tournament together for Stoklos and Akatebi. Maybe the communication not where it should be towards certainly the end of the season. Jose Loyola with four career wins. He won one in Argentina, one in Washington, D.C., Seaside Heights, New Jersey, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. Not exactly a who's who of volleyball tournaments, but this would be his first major if he can pull it off. Loyola four points away. Make that three points now. It's a 12th point. Johnson. Got it. Good cut shot by AJ. Johnson and Loyola in the finals last week, losing to Kirai and Steffes. Revenge this week. They hammered Kirai and Steffes in the semifinals of this tournament. Beat him 15-9 yesterday. Been the best team in the competition so far. Johnson, the 1991 U.S. champion. He won Manhattan last year, the Old Spice King of the Beach. Johnson seems to be improving, and now that he's with Loyola, very, very confident. And it ticked the net. Little tick, 12-6. The score remains. We're under four minutes to go. So the fans encouraging Akatubi to open it up. And Loyola showing a depth 
catch both ways on the little cutty. And what makes it possible is that the guy can jump about 36 inches out of the soft sand. So if Stokos doesn't block and drops back, Loyola's going to bomb that ball right at their feet defensively. Establish the heat first, and now he's showing them a lot of court coverage. And another ace up the middle, and no communication on the heavy wife by Stokos and Akatebi. They're just not talking enough on this one. Right in between them, Loyola for another ace. He's got five. Johnson's got three. And timeout. And timeout. So close. All-time uh, career wins. Sinjin Smith on top. And we'll show you how much money has been made. Remember, money only came in in 1976. Sinjin Smith, Randy Stokos, Karch Dry, Kent Steffes, Mike Dodd, all millionaires. Look at Ron Von Hagen. He won 62 victories. <laughs> and he won $925. I told asked him Ron this week, uh, well, how much did you win? It took a little while. Well, I think I won 300 once there. And, no, that was 600, Ron. And <laughs> Ron wasn't concentrating on the money. He was just right. uh, concentrating on siding out and crunching teams. Ron Von Hagen one of the greats, a five-time winner here at Manhattan. 13-6 to six as Stokos and Akademi is unable to withstand the serving assault of Johnson and Loyola. Remember earlier in the year on a tournament here on NBC, Johnson and Loyola had 19 service errors. I believe it was at Chicago. And they lost to Kirai and Akatebi on time, I believe, by two. Yeah. So they've just eliminated some errors and are racking up aces. Yeah. Loyola, Lacan block, and it's off Stokos' hand. The game really turned around at 4-4 when A.J. and Loyola scoring five unanswered points to take a 9-4 lead, and that lead is basically held up. Well, now at 13-6, is Johnson serves with Loyola at the net. And Stokos giving up some room down the sideline. Akatubi fires one through going to be a disappointing loss for Scott Akatev. He once said in an interview, there are two tournaments I dream about winning. Manhattan and Hermosa. I don't dream about Belmar and, <laughs> and Fort Worth, Texas and Baltimore. I dream about Manhattan and Hermosa. He considers those possibly nightmares. Working on Johnson. Trailing by seven. A.J. Akatev. No. Very tough to play defense on the move. Obviously, a lot of court to cover with just two players out here. But, Ack, when you're running side to side, the ball changes direction through the block. Very difficult to make a controlled defensive play. Johnson and Loyola wins in Seaside Heights, New Jersey, and Minneapolis, Minnesota. This would be their first major. Akatabi. Uh-oh, right to Jose. He's looking for the bomb. And he defuses with a little firecracker. A set where he can light up the fans here and crush the ball into the sand, but he's showing a tremendous ability to move the ball around on some marginal sets in transition. What a turnaround for the team of Johnson and Loyola. Remember at the start of the year, Johnson playing with Randy Stokos had some success indoors, won a couple of tournaments, could not win an outdoor tournament. Jose Loyola playing with Angino had moderate success, but not the kind of success that he wanted. Let's go down to Bill Wong. Bill? Thanks, Chris. I'm here with Randy and Scott. Guys, it's not going very well out there for you. What can you do to turn it around down 14-6? Well, we got to turn everything around. Everything's got to go our way, Bill. Uh, they're serving awfully well. Well, uh, we're on the good side. The problem was is when we switched 6-4, we had an opportunity to score some points on the good side. They scored three of them, and they went up 9-4 uh, or 9-6 switch. We are definitely in the trenches, and we got to do something. Help! Are you guys tired at all, Randy? You've had to play the extra match having lost this morning? No, not at all. I mean, if you get tired and not excited to play in front of this type of crowd in Manhattan Beach, you got to not play any sport. Okay. Thanks so much, Chris. You know, Randy Stokos, a lot of people have told me he's in the best shape of, uh, well, not of his career, but in the last four years, he's working with a personal trainer now, and he is certainly physically fit, but his partner, or his ex-partner, I should say, Adam Johnson, honing in on his second Manhattan Open win in a row, and Jose Loyola, you think Jose Loyola jumps high on a spike, wait till you see him when point 15 goes down, as it appears that it will. He's been spectacular, 11 kills a block in five A's. So this is the first championship point at Manhattan. Loyola serving at 14 to six. And with this lead, he's going for it. He would like nothing better than to end it on an ace. And Akatubi and Stokos coming out of this timeout know it. Crowd down. 
Slow wave still going. Well, for the championship. This could be it. Johnson must it. Oh my gosh, right in his hand. The easiest dig he'll have all year. Remember a couple of years ago, Adam Johnson playing with Brooke Vandeweghe had a 10 to 1 lead on Steffes and Kirai. Different time, different matchups. Kirai and Steffes came back to win. and you get in the habit of just moving the ball around. Loyola going over the top. So the second championship point coming up. Loyola at the net. Adam Johnson will serve it. At 14-7. Yes! 